everyone, it's Kerry back with you today. Recently I shared a photo on Facebook of some lace that I've been colouring using my Lindy's sprays and also some gold wax to pick up the detail in the lace. I had a lot of people ask about it so I've just put a little video together today to show you exactly how I did it and then you can hopefully have a go at making some yourself. I've got several different ones here. Now these have all been coloured using the Lindy sprays. Each lace reacts a little bit differently depending on how the lace has been constructed and what it's made out of. And I generally find when I'm spraying the lace, it tends to look a lot darker when it's wet and then it usually dries a lot lighter. Um, I find that particularly with synthetic fabrics, they do dry a lot lighter. Now, I've also had a lot of people ask if it's, um, you know, washable. The true answer to that question is I'm not sure. I'm not using this lace to make anything that I'm going to wash. I'm using it for making you know, embellishments or journal covers and that sort of thing. So I won't be washing it. I imagine if you heat set it, it would probably stay um, a little bit more wash proof. But I imagine if you were using it for you know, clothing or cushions or something like that, over time it would probably fade considerably. So without testing it, the true answer is I don't know, but I wouldn't be using it. If I was going to colour fabric that I wanted to stay um, true to the colour that I'm dyeing it, then I would use a fabric dye. But for, for my purposes, um, using the Lindy sprays is absolutely perfect. There's a massive range of colours and I can you know, mix and max, match them instantly to see what I like. So I'll just pop these ones to the side, but as you can see there's a whole array of colour here from using just Lindy sprays. This one's quite sheer and the colour has taken really well on the um, embroidered pieces of lace there. So for this project you'll need some lace. Now I've got a huge abundance of lace and I've actually put together some uh, lace packages in my shop. I'll leave a link below. They come in a variety of colours and you get a, a um, bunch of different styles and colours in each pack. For this particular lace I've chosen one that I can feel has got like a slightly raised texture because that's what I'll use to gild with the gold afterwards. Now normally when I do this project I do it outside, I use larger pieces of lace, I put them on my trestle table with a piece of um, like a large piece of butcher type paper underneath. Then when I'm spraying my lace, the extra spray goes onto the paper underneath and I end up with pretty background papers as well as pretty lace. But for today's video, I'm just going to do it here in a little spray tray and I've just got a small piece of lace here that I've actually um, soaked under the kitchen tap and then wrung it out so it's damp but it's not dripping anymore. And I'm just going to pop that into my tray here. And I've, I've selected um, quite a different um, number of colours and I may or may not use them all. Now if you don't know what colours are going to work nicely together then have a little look on the internet and pick colours that you do know that will work well together. For example if I use just purple and orange or green and orange I'm going to get brown where those two colors meet but I, I want a nice arrangement of colors and I'll just make sure that the colors that I'm using next to each other will actually work nicely together. So I'll actually start with this orange and this one's Mango Mania and I'm just going to randomly spray a little bit here and there. Now I, I know that orange and pink work quite well together so I'm going to make sure that next to that orange I have the pink and then I'm going to have a little bit of purple next to the pink I know that blue and purple work quite well together so I'm going to put that in amongst the purple. Just need a little bit more pink over here where my orange is. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of green in around my blue because I know that green and blue will work right together as well. 
bit of blue over here. Now, if you want your colours to be a little bit more intense, you can go back over certain areas if you want to. So I'll add a bit more pink there. And a little bit more orange. Okay, and then I would leave that to dry. Um, I'm, for the purpose of today's video, I'm actually going to just heat dry this with my um, heat gun. So I'll go dry this and I'll be right back. So my lace is pretty much dry now. It's not 100% dry, but it's good enough for us to move on. If you look at this dark area of lace here, you can see there are some lighter pieces. Now that is um, actually raised texture in this particular piece of lace. But the reason that it looks like it's a different colour is because the makeup of the lace or the fabric has a different um, texture or they've used some kind of different thread here so it's reacted differently to the colour um, of the piece of fabric next to it so even that in itself gives the lace a nice unique look but because this texture is raised I'm going to take advantage of that and colour that give that some gold um, gilding just to bring that texture out a little bit more to do my gold gilding I've got here some of the Finnebear metallic wax. There are lots of different waxes available on the market so just have a look around and at what's available to you wherever you are. I've also got a makeup sponge here that has some flat sides on it and I'm just going to load the flat section of the brush with a little bit of this gilding paste or wax and then keeping the sponge flat to the lace I'm just gently rubbing over the texture and that raised section will pick up um, the gold from the sponge. Now if you push too hard you're going to colour the lace pieces that are lower the, than, the, than the raised texture. So you really just want the weight of the sponge to be pressing down onto the fabric. So I just keep going over the whole piece of fabric until it's all coloured. finish applying your gilding wax over the top of your lace you need to allow that a little bit of time to dry so you can just let it dry naturally if you are going to use a heat tool be careful if it's synthetic lace because you might melt or warp the lace a little bit so it's a bit hard to see on the video but all of those raised areas have now got a little bit of gold gilding on them But the appearance of the lace will actually vary greatly depending on what colour you put behind the lace. So you can see when I put black behind, that gold is a lot more obvious and the colours look a lot brighter. So I'm actually going to give away this coloured piece of lace along with one of the lace packs. If you would like to enter into this giveaway please just leave a comment below. I'll leave the giveaway open for a week and all the uh, details will be in the description box below. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.